A long time ago, in a small village in China, there was a terrible dragon. No one had ever actually seen the dragon, but all the parents warned their children: "If you're naughty, the terrible Long will wake up in his cave. He'll fly to our house and carry you away." This terrible dragon has the scaly long body of a snake and the bulging eyeballs of a shrimp. He has the beard of a man and the paws of a tiger and the toes of an eagle. The children of the village were very frightened, especially when they had been naughty. But there was one small boy in the village who was never frightened of anything. His name was Wen Li. Wen Li was not afraid of the terrible dragon, since he was hardly ever naughty. He wasn't even sure he believed in the dragon story. To tell the truth. I'm not afraid of dragons living in a cave, and when I meet one face to face, I know for sure that I'll be brave. Wen Li was almost ten years old. In China, living ten years called for a celebration. So Wen Li's parents were planning a birthday party. Mama and Papa, when you're inviting people, I would like one special guest. Who is that? I would like to invite the terrible dragon. I have never seen him, and I would like to meet him.、Oh, that's impossible, Wen Li. No one has ever seen the terrible dragon. There is no way to find him. But this did not stop Wen Li. The next day, his mother packed his box lunch of steamed buns with salted cabbage and sent him off to play. With his lunch under his arm, Wen Li headed for the hills surrounding the village. There must be a cave here somewhere. To tell you the truth, I'm not afraid of dragons living in a cave, and when I meet one face to face, I know for sure that I'll be brave. Sure enough, over the next hill, he came upon the mouth of a cave, covered with spider webs. Wen Li put down his box. Yoo hoo! Is anyone there? Ni hao ma. Wen Li heard sounds from deep in the cave. The sound drew closer. And suddenly, the opening of the cave was filled by a terrible dragon with a scaly long body of a snake and the eyeballs of a shrimp. He had the beard of a man, the paws of a tiger, and the toes of an eagle. Wen Li was startled, but he stayed right where he was. To tell the truth, I'm not afraid of dragons living in a cave. And when I meet one face to face, I know for sure that I'll be brave. I'll be brave. What do you want? I'm having a birthday party, and I'd like to invite you. Wen Li noticed that the dragon's scales were dusty, and his claws were chipped and dirty. He noticed that the dragon's beard needed combing. What? What are you saying? You are invited to my birthday party. Wen Li saw giant tears forming in the dragon's eyes and landing on the ground. Why are you crying? In all my days living in a cave, no one has ever been kind to me. I would love to go to your birthday party. I'll hop on my back and I will take you home. Wen Li leaped onto the dragon's back. He looked down and saw that the dragon's tears had turned into a river. Down the river floated Wen Li, perched on the dragon. When they reached the village, everyone ran to hide. The dragon! The dragon has come! He's captured Wen Li. But one by one, they noticed that Wen Li was smiling, and that the dragon was actually a dragon boat powered by steam. The dragon had turned into a boat, and Wen Li was the dragon boat captain. People came from all around to celebrate Wen Li's tenth birthday. On board the dragon boat, at the dragon boat festival that year, Wen Li had the largest, most beautiful boat of all. From that day on, Wen Li was greatly respected throughout the village. When he passed by, people would remember his adventure and say to one another, "One kindness always pays off in another kindness."